this problem is related to the binomial distribution. So the question here is, in 256 sets of 12 tosses of a coin, in how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails? So how many sets are there? 256 sets of 12 tosses. 12 tosses of a coin in how many cases one can expect eight hits and four tails see in this case first of all what is the probability of getting a head so it is very simple that the probability p is nothing but probability of getting a head is half probability of getting head of getting a head is equal to half therefore p is equal to half and the next one q is nothing but the probability of not getting a head or mean style the probability of getting getting a tail is again half therefore q is equal to half there are half chances of getting a head and half chances of getting a tail. So, first of all, we got the value of P as well as Q. And next, coming to the question. So, in how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails out of 12 tosses of a coin? See here. Here, N value is equal to. So, N is equal to 12. 12 tosses. So, P is equal to half and Q is again equal to half. P is probability of getting a head and Q is nothing but probability of getting a tile. So, here what in how many cases one can expect 8 heads and 4 tails. So, 8 heads and 4 tails here. So, 8 heads and 4 tails. That is probability of x is equal to r according to the binomial distribution. The value is ncr. This is p power r. This is p power r and this is q power n minus r. So, here value of n is equal to 12. And here there are 8 heads here. Total how many heads are there? The probability of getting 8 heads and 4 tails. See here. So, here r is equal to 8 n is equal to 12 that is 12 c8 see here p is nothing but the probability of getting a head r means 8 and here q q is nothing but the probability of getting a tail so here n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 8 see the logic here is 12 cr half to the power of 8 and half to the power of 4 so half this half p is nothing but getting 8 heads and c q is nothing but probability of getting a tail for 4 times so probability of getting heads for 8 times and probability of getting tail for 4 times is 12 c 8 2 power 8 and into 2 power 4 that is 12 c 8 so there is a formula that ncr is equal to so you can use this ncr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial otherwise see here what is the difference between 12 and 8 4 so 4 backward steps that is 12 into 11 into 10 into 9 by 4 front steps that is 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 so this is the simple trick so this is half to the power of 8 plus 4 which is equal to 12 and see the value will be so we can cancel this 3 4 zero, this is 12 and this in 5 times so this value will be 11 this is 11 into 45 into this is 1 by 2 power 12 see here I'll show you this is 11 into 45 into this is 0 0.5 uh, cap 12. The value here is 0. Point, this is 1 2. The value here is. So now the value is 0 0.12084 So this is the value. And here from the question. So how many sets are there? 256 sets are there. So now the expected number.
the expected number of such cases of such cases in 256 sets is equal to this is 256 into the value found so the probability of getting 8 heads and 4 tails is nothing but this value is uh, 0 0.12084 so with this value if i multiply see here so if i multiply this value with the 256 the value here is uh, 30.9375 and it's approximately equal to 31. So it's approximately. Therefore, the expected number of search cases in 256 sets is 31. So this is our expected value. So the expected value is 31. So this is how we have to solve. This is also so simple. The probability of getting a head is half. The probability of getting a style is half. And here we have to find how many cases one can expect eight heads and four tails. So here the probability of getting a head is half and getting eight heads is half to the power of eight and probability of getting a tail and it is for four times. So here eight value we have to select as eight. R value we have to select as eight and this is 12 C8 P power eight and Q power N minus eight. See here this is the value and see the expected number of the sets in such cases in 256 sets is 252 into this value which is equal to 31. So this is how we have to solve. Thank you so much for watching. Please if you really like you just practice and pass it on to your friends.